Top. All right, let's go get a nashi. I'm starving. I know I said I wasn't. I'm not gonna get two nashis. I'm gonna get one nashi, and then we're gonna hit the road. Today's my grandma's birthday. Happy birthday, Gramps! I went in the store. With, oh, I gotta get gas too. With a freaking crop top. <laughs> so, as you can see from the title of this, I just had a serious conversation with people on RSN's channel. And I need to grow up. I need to put myself first. I need to take care of my responsibilities. And just realize that sometimes fairy tales are just fairy tales. And things are not real. So I'm going to go take a drive to see my family. You know, look, and I know you guys have been telling me this forever. Just before we destroy each other, it's time to just move on. Grow up, witch. <laughs> hey, simply Sarah. Would change my mind about ditching my family? I'm not on my way back from Gatineau. <laughs> Doesn't even live in Gatineau. So I was gonna take a drive out to my the, to the family home where I grew up with my grandmother. Beauty bite. Nashi. Never thought I would say this. Look at the nashi sauce. Yum. Nashi for grams. I don't think my grandma would like this. No, Anishian wasn't on this time. It's a beyond gorgeous day. Did I fart in my sleep? Candice Michelle, I was on Twitch last night sleeping. But I only slept for like four hours and then the cats were bugging me. My family's not even there anymore. They were there this morning. <laughs> Look at this shirt. I'm going for a drive alone into the country. I might meet a guy tonight. Just for coffee, do you guys wanna come? In Ottawa. Yes, I told them it was complicated. I said not everything is, you know, black and white. And now I feel like going home. I just feel really overwhelmed. I, I have a lot of hard decisions to make. I need to get gas. I feel very, very, very torn, like, if I just, like, if I, I feel like I just want to, like, talk, like, I feel, you know what, I should go for a big ride and, like, really just work, like, talk to myself, like, work out what I'm gonna do, because, like, I know I have a lot of decisions to make and I have like all these feelings that are just so messed up. Like I really, like you guys just, I wish you could like, <clears throat> really just understand how I'm feeling. 
Maybe I'll get a nice chocolate cake and strawberry ice cream in honor of my grams today. That's what I'll do to honor her because she really loved that stuff. But she had diabetes so she could never eat much of it. Well, good luck, Grams. I cured my diabetes so I can eat some for you. You'd be proud of me. <clears throat> Actually, she probably would be really disappointed. But I kept a lot of stuff from her so that she didn't know, obviously. Yeah, Grams, I tried meth as if I'm going to admit that to her. She would have a fucking heart of that. <clears throat> she was a little risky. She used to flirt with the produce guy. She told me he made gestures with the cucumbers. I couldn't believe she said that. I was like, Grams? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so I just feel like... I'm at this weird turning point in my life and I'm gonna get gas and then we're gonna hit the road. I don't know, I'm just gonna go for a little drive. Maybe we'll check out the Gatineau Burger King. No, I'm not going to Gatineau. That brings back bad memories. Oh my god. So here's my dilemma. I'm, I should be on my way to Montreal today. I should be, now I know it's my grandmother's birthday, just to get that out of the way, to explain that, I never, I do things with my family, but not like, <clears throat> like the siblings all wanted to have like a special moment, like together, like the siblings at the Tulip Festival, that's like traditionally their thing, I don't usually go to the Tulip Festival, I did as a kid usually, but like for me to walk around and all that, just wasn't practical like it just with my health and everything anxiety whatever excuses whatever I just never really enjoyed doing that um, yes you should push yourself to do family stuff and I do I just don't do everything that they do so for me like they've already done the tulip festival they invited me for lunch but like I don't know I just feel like things would just be a bit awkward you know so I just I don't know, I just love being alone or live. I don't like being with real people lately. Except for Natter. And even that, two hours, three hours. And then I want to go home and bees. Like I always crave beesing. <clears throat> you know? And I get that, like, that would be like a big problem because my beesing, beesing takes up a lot of time okay if I want to properly bees I need like hours to bees and if you have a man especially one who's demanding of your time you can't bees for hours and then he'll be like okay what about me what about my videos what about my time excuse me oh sorry a fucking Rolls Royce. Look at this car. I'm like, nice car. <laughs> Look at that, a Rolls Royce. Matters, taters. Can we have a self-care day? Yes. What do you want to do? Well, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. My self-care day was ruined with the Nashi. So now what? Gas is 206. Don't go to Montreal. I'm not. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Farm Boy. So I was going to go to Montreal today. And I was going to, I'm not looking at the chat. Well, here, now I'm not. I was going to go to Montreal and 
walk around and do stuff. I think every time I end things, I, in somewhere, like, in my subconscious or in the back of my mind or something, somewhere, <laughs> it's like I don't believe that it really is over, and then maybe that, like, prevents me from fully moving on and really grieving everything that I've been through. used to be happy with just being at home and eating and doing my mukbangs. Now I'm too fucking like... I don't want to go back to that life. Anyway. The problem is if I get out and walk after just eating a Nashi, I'll have to go to the bathroom and then there's nowhere to go to the bathroom. Oh, the outhouse. People think I do drug deals at that outhouse. Now I can't even use the outhouse without people thinking a certain something. You people. Maybe we should go to Torrid and get a wedding dress. Ah, uh, the signal just got in. I think my grandma's interfering. Like, no, don't get a wedding dress. <laughs> I swear, as soon as I said wedding dress, the signal went out. My grandma's interfering on her birthday. Like... Anyway... What a nice day. Such a nice day. I'm gonna go celebrate by going back to my house. Ordering food. <gasps> Pinier! I'm sorry, guys. Okay, we'll do something different today. Pizza and I are gonna take out all the trash. I wanna set up my patio so that Sim can get the bugs. Do you wanna get the bugs? No, I can't get a wedding dress today because... If I get a wedding dress, it has to be in a different city. Because there's no torrid here. I could go to David's Bridal. It's good to have a dress. You never know when you're going to meet somebody, you know. Could be single today, married tomorrow. That's how my life is. I want the guy in the Rolls Royce. With the feathered gray hair. He had nice gray hair. Rolls Royce. He's probably making tons of money. That should be the next Beezer. Can you imagine a Rolls Royce with the Beezer sticker? Tiff got me on it. Born to Bees. I could maybe afford to rent a Rolls Royce for a day. No, no, no. I could maybe afford to rent a Rolls Royce for an hour. So how about this? No more men in my life until they prove to me, until they prove to me they love me. How about that? I will accept such forms of proof as... <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, for real though. Like, seriously. I give up. I just give up. Surrender. I don't care about food right now. <sighs> it's clench time. I'm almost home. I don't mind when my bowels start working when I'm almost home. Why do we have to know about Foodie Beauty's bowel habits? Because I'm always live. And I gotta go, you gotta go. You would, like, what do you want me to, like, what do you want me to say? I need to use the washroom, excuse me. I'm gonna try to be really proper for a day and see how that, that would make me mad, I think. Just a 
a moment, guys. I'm just gonna go use the washroom. I'll be right back. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Instead of, oh my god, I gotta go for the biggest shit right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I need to excuse myself for a moment. Seems that uh, Nashi is... <sighs> and the urgency intensifies as I get home, of course. We're home. joke that was made in the bed that was made and I'm not gonna fade as soon as you close your eyes and you know it and every time he scratch her nails and in his back it's back I hope he feels that This is a crop top. This is the one top. Sweet. The other one fits similarly to this. <laughs> that doesn't fit. What happened to my boob? Look at it. <laughs> Holy crap. How am I going to attract dignitaries with my boobs looking? No, I'm just joking. I don't need to attract dignitaries. Hi. You think it looks nice? McChubby McSeuss. I need to get rid of this circle here. Seuss. Make chubby make boost. <laughs> I like it. I like the colors. Now, it would look cute with a skirt to go over here. What kind of apple? Portland apple? <laughs> milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. If you don't like watching pimples, close your eyes. Hi, Lynn. Sorry, I gotta do this. One, two, three. Uh, 
I need some nice flowy black skirt. Stomach? It's my stomach and my... It's my fupa faux pas. Doesn't fit like a 5X, fits like a 2X. Yeah, this one fits very... Like... Like, it's just my, obviously, this part, right? Very large, so it's hard to cover. I just don't even bother trying to hide it anymore. I just kind of, you know, the way they fit me. For me, when I look, I don't see that this. Like, I used to, but now just think the power of suggestion from all body positivity, people on Instagram wearing clothes like showing their fupa. It helps. Really, it's all about how you, like, everything in a lot of ways. This matches. I like it. Actually, I want to see what it looks like when I sit like this. <laughs> no! My legs? I don't think I've ever been able to. Is there you know what you need? A mechanic to go... You know those things that they go under the car? One of Natter's jokes. <clears throat> yes, I know I should be with my family, okay? Are we already going to stop growing up that last time? I want to feel sorry for myself. I want to go to Lachine. Lachine and make Didi and Natter address everything. Then go to the percentage is that he's the love of my life, percentage wise. You bunny boiler. Trixie! The fuck? He really has tried to destroy you. Oh god. Uh... Come to decision. You could change your mindset and work on yourself. I know. Uh... Adolf Diedler, Chantel Nine. You know what? You know what? Another thing is. I feel like he like. I feel comfortable around Natter, like my body, like I feel comfortable per like going parading around Montreal with him, like I know he doesn't judge me by my weight, like I know you think below and all that, but he's just he's just being a prick, like a he's trying to <clears throat> you know scroll up. I wish there was a shot collar attached so you we could pay to shock him. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'd be rich. Calling you a buffalo was peak endearment. I don't understand your reasoning. <sighs> Sophia Maserati, I don't think I have any. All I know is I feel miserable. I feel miserable sometimes when I am around him. He made fun of my banny size. Oh, he was. Whenever he was bad mouthing me, a part of me was about me. That's sad. People think I have a humiliation fetish. I don't have a. 
don't. <clears throat> I just like to just. I don't know how. How can you help who you are? I mean, that's the. I don't want to be here right now. It's too nice out. Wrong with my family? Nothing. Grab a payday loan and go to Lachine. Um, I have so many things on the go. Projects I've set up to do, and I just don't feel like doing any of it right now. I just feel like there's just, like, my life is on hold because, like, certain decisions to make, and I can't. I can't make up my mind. You were happy when the channel was down. You were on already. I know. I don't fuck out of me. Get busy living. Get busy living. Nice. What do you think about this post for Instagram? Oh. Why did my phone tell me to rotate my device when I was showing my body? I can't go live with- I just freaked out on him and Didi and blocked them both and told them. Called... Good night, Chantel Cycles. A lion cow. And I called Lying sack of shit. Or something. Which... <laughs> Dark Desert Highway. And he still wants you to know. Probably not. But the cases drop, you're getting cocky and sitting beside him now with your, your polka dot sh**. Hurt you! <laughs> uh, actually, I <laughs> sent him a message and I said, <laughs> It's not funny. I'm insane. I said, shut the fuck up, shitty singing, or your crappy baked potato. <sighs> what do you want to eat? Lion polka dots. <laughs> Why did you fight? Because I just... He's probably been doing DD the whole time. That's what I thought. And sometimes I'm okay with it. And yesterday at 8 p.m. I wasn't. Yeah. My piercing. I'm just making sure it's not swollen. And he told me they don't. You're supposed to trust the one you're with me. So what we talk at the hotel, I think to keep me like sane, I don't want to have an intense relationship with him, like a committed relationship. I'm going to try dating around or just like friends and just doing content together and shit like that. But not be like in a relationship with each other. Just like trying to have like any way to have him in my life, like on a wholesome. Like that's basically what we wanted to talk about. Like just so he can have his. So that yeah. I think you guys can even agree too. You know, like. Seeing him, you need to realize Didi feels special because they are in on a lie together. Yeah. I don't need him in my life, but I, at some point, like, I have feelings, right? So. I have fun doing things once in a while. Like, 
I don't like how it was when things were very intense. Things were really fucked up. Odd fights and just I when we thing it was really bad. So maybe what we talked about was if we don't thing that I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. Well, that's what I mean. Like maybe if I just don't put myself out so much, respect myself and my boundaries, and still try to have some kind of friendship that we could both benefit from. Yeah, that's something. To Are you being sarcastic? Capable of doing that. For me to get absolutely nothing in return. Well, that's what I would have to make sure. Ugh. I'm way too possessive. Lighter and brighter. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you call it. Fly to France and visit a refugee center, and you can choose from a dozen. Well, I want a natter who only wants me. I want someone who only wants me. I don't want. It's delusion, love. This conversation is you'll still be in the sheen by the end of the day. <laughs> no. Try and find someone more ugly. I'm talking to a few of those on it on Plenty of Fish, like a couple really nice. chick. I like being ugly. Nobody's ugly. Everyone's beautiful. Hi, Gail. What's Friday, Shay? You need a guy to treat you. No. Melody. My lovely dummy. I'm loving he's sleeping with his friend that you hate. Too complicated. It won't work. You really think? Oh. Why did you? Did she look like five miles of rough road? I said that. Oh, ugly. Dee Dee ugly all the time. Your birthday's Friday, Che! Are you... Can we get Paneer? Yeah. Watch your... I'm a camel with AIDS! That's a sick burn. Sorry. <laughs> you ordered Pixillion? No, AIDS is not funny. Okay, fine. You look like a horse with
An allergy to food. <laughs> and then he'll say, you look like a cow. <clears throat> he does look like a giraffe, yeah. And I look like a... I thought I look like a fucking frog because of my neck. <laughs> You didn't finish your thought. I said you called Dee ugly all the time. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm mad. I don't. <sighs> I try. Is that that I don't? How are you gonna like someone? That video? She friggin' dis. She's a scammer. Looks like Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm scared of. Then you say he looks like a jumbo slice. The bird singing and the, <laughs> the donkey. Hi, sweetest angels of the 10th degree. Dee has kid credit. Farquad? No pizza. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Like, he's kind of right. Like, oh, you say you me with your fans. <sighs> BBJ is 20 now. Are you 20? Your birthday's coming Yes. Her birthday's coming up. <laughs> he makes fun of me back? Yeah! Of my way. I just yeah. keeps himself just out of reach. Do you know what I mean? Just out of reach. <laughs> no black zillion. Ability. Because for what? Because he. What was going on behind closed doors? I don't have a nap. Yeah. I gotta go. Or should we order paneer? But he sees all that you do. I know. <clears throat> like he's with Edie? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. No. Well, I come back to near hall, yeah. Yeah. You'll have to clean. Bye, Penny.
Please don't mix it. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hi, VIP. Is the trial still on? Your dog's name is Grifter? Turd. I would have to accept him for who he is. This is it. Oh, she walked out in a tantrum? Okay. Hungry. Bye, T.I.Y. Bye. <laughs> 